Hello everybody and welcome to part 34 of my Desert China series. The two things we got to keep our eyes on is when it says one turn until new social policy we do have to purchase a great engineer in the capital and then of course I want to kind of keep an eye on the international games so those are the two things to keep an eye on and let's just peek at this real quick two turns so this coming turn is when that's going to occur so I do not want to forget that we got a trade route here oh backstabbed okay um let's see here uh, what this means is now we can declare war on Rome as soon as we want um, so yeah let's just go forward with that information I don't see a need to trade embassies to try and smooth this over um, but what we can do is take a quick look here. Rome, every orange line is an announcement. Uh, they just announced us. Uh, they are denouncing Rome. They had previously denounced Rome, and they are denouncing Rome. Uh, compare that to we now have received our fourth denunciation. So technically the world likes him a little bit better than it likes us, but it is a close... Uh, close to being a tie so uh, we'll have to see how that goes anyways this is the turn we hit one turn to go until culture uh, social policy excuse me a good rule for and rocketry is this. okay assume that so rocket spoke. artillery becomes an option um, let's see anti-aircraft gun actually we have one of those don't we uh, it was a gift well, I'll get to that. Let's do this first so that I absolutely never have a chance of forgetting. Great Engineer is purchased. And again, the reason for that is when we uh, choose our policy, we're going to take the Rationalism Finisher, uh, which we will use for satellites. And we can queue up Hubble, get two great scientists, ball them. That'll get us into advanced ballistics. We can get started on boosters. And I do think bombs will be better than missiles, simply because uh, we don't have a navy. So, anyways, let's go ahead and choose that. So that's all of that. Now, let us get to uh, unit per, uh, upgrades and such. Anti-aircraft gun. This is kind of useless, really. We don't... I don't anticipate they're going to get... And I don't think he can actually do anything else, right? Okay. I don't know if they can melee attack. There's nothing here saying they can't. So I don't know. <clears throat> but whatever, let's just do what we can to up our military score. It's not like we're doing anything else with that unit that turn. Um, and then of course we have artillery, which can upgrade to rocket artillery. We got one down here, we'll address that immediately. 360! Whew! Goes from 28 attack power to... 60 though, so doubles, more than doubles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that puts them on par with a bomber, don't it? I think. Bomber, 65. I mean, pretty close. Okay. Um. So yeah, we've been denounced. Uh, what I'd like to see is uh, when do lancers upgrade? Anyways, I should look in. I want to look at that real quick. Uh, I guess we can just do it here, right? Um, let's see. Lancers are down here. No, that's cavalry. Uh, down here. Okay. Upgrades to anti-tank gun come combined arms, which is over here. So that's actually our weakest unit right now. So maybe we come here after advanced ballistics. I don't know. Uh, this is more the military side, and it is a requisite for spaceship parts, so either way, it's in our future. Uh, but my point is we want to get our our mounted units over here towards Rome, I think, um, in case things pop off there. Um, <clears throat> perhaps even another one of these infantry here. Okay, Shanghai grows. We'll uh, continue growing. Well, you know what? We're doing international games now. Perhaps this would be a good time to stay focused on a good production tile like that. Um, we do have the capital, which can kick in for one turn. 
because we've got this gap from here to Hubble. So we, we can take it from there. Let's just take a glance at where we're actually at. Uh, again, 3600 would be a guaranteed first place. And if it's one-fourth complete and we stayed on our current trajectory four times, that would not be quite 3600. Now keep in mind that, keep in mind that 3600 is a guaranteed first place. Since we do have nine other people on the board still, uh, if they're contributing random hammers, it's very possible that... Um, they accumulate to be a good amount, but not any one individual competes with us. So, uh, something to keep in mind. And of course, like we had already identified, there's going to be a one-turn gap behind, between Manhattan and having uranium. So, <clears throat> we will uh, also use that one turn for that, I suspect. So, let us look at Grand River. Um, I'm seeing a couple of units in the way. Um, if we get those units out of the way, we can have this guy do the capturing of Grand River after we soften it up just a touch more. Um, I do see three artillery. Um, this one can act upon the personnel. Both of these can act upon the personnel and the city. And then, of course, we have five bombers in the way. I think one bomber would take the city out com uh, the rest of the way. And probably the other bombers can reach these. This bomber could easily reach uh, this, I think. So we do have options. <clears throat> I think one of the best options, though, is since we can see this, let's go one pillage and have him finish off the musket man. So that, oh, okay, that reveals more units. And that's fine, because from here he actually zone a control, so we don't have to worry about a recapture from either of these two. Well, yes, maybe we do, because they're Iroquois. This is Forest. So, yeah, we do have to treat these, take these guys somewhat seriously. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we have to figure out. Now, these guys would only be able to be reached by plane. In fact, two, four, six, eight... 9, 10. Okay, so Brantford can reach these both of these guys. That's really good. Alright, let's take a look at everything else that's going on. Salt and copper and some horses. Alright, so lots of stuff there as well. Cape Town, Zanzibar requests units. Declaration of friendship has expired with Morocco. Well, I'll tell you what, since we did just get denounced, let us try and renew this there we go. Because um, it might come to pass that we have a denouncement domino effect. So this way he'll be flagged as a backstabber, which at this point I don't even think is going to matter. Like, we're kind of past the point of no return as far as, like, saving face. Uh, but in the meantime, let's see, India has denounced Poland, Rome has denounced us. There have been people that denounced Rome, so... Okay, so let's look at this here. Um, he could one-shot that... He could one-shot that. So let's try this first. There we go. And that frees up this guy to sit tight and heal. I like that better. Casimir has made peace with Montezuma. Um, that might end up being that Poland is next to talk us, talk down to us. So we got to kind of be ready for that. Uh, we do have a good spreading of forces, though. We've been withdrawing our units. And that's part of the thing that I'm looking at this as a bit of a... Oh, wait. I just highlighted a worker and walked away. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, looks like he finished the rail on the way to Kume. So let us... How many turns does this guy have? He'll be finishing this turn. So let's just come here, do this. He'll finish ahead of this guy, but that's fine because he's actually standing on unmined oil. Uh, infantry, come on down. You're the next contestant. Machine gun. We actually have a Roman in our territory. Um, I don't see the need to declare war just yet with him. Um, maybe if we wait until the roads are finished, that would be better. And then, of course, we've got multiple units raining in from all over. So any of that would be better. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we got various civilians over here, so let's try and have blockers. We're pretty strong on top of the uranium. That's was our plan. Oh, and then there's, of course, undeveloped horses here, which doesn't much matter. We do have horses and stuff like that there. Um, speaking of which, let's go ahead and address this. 
Copper, what will you give us for this? Stop so, um, that. Don't do that. Um, we can take his money because we are till, still technically friends, but our reputation is so damaged I don't actually know what the exchange rate's going to be. That would be two and a half, so normally I'd say five. Let's try four. No? Not yeah. good enough. Okay, so let's bump this up uh, to five and then take... No, that wouldn't be the way to do it. Uh, four, go back to four and try bumping this down to 70. Okay, there we go. Um, he also will be interested in our ivory. Um, so let's see, how about six and your lump? Not the case, huh? Yeah. All right, six. Well, could be worse. Uh, let's see, he wants horses. Salute. See? I almost hit the wrong button. Uh, try that. No. All right, and that's all the horses Benissimo. he wants. Um, I don't think way. we're going to be able to work something out here. Two, four, In two. Keep, eh? Yeah, okay, good. Um, Bene. That'll be over soon anyways. Didn't we actually trade, like give him a horse on accident a few turns ago? That seems to ring a bell. Um, he's just ripping up the road. <laughs> He's finished ripping up the road, so he can get started on this coal over here, which doesn't much matter. Um, we've seen that Canada Lake is not housing any military, and he obviously had to have some military to take this over. So I don't know that I want to move this guy away just yet. Everybody else is moving. Now we do have planes. Um... Probably not going to need them over here. In fact, you can only stack up six per city unless it has an airport. So let's move them down to Sao Paulo. Rio. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten exactly. Two, four, six, eight, ten exactly. Okay. So if we did move them to Rio, they'd probably be a little bit safer. But I don't think they're going to be all that unsafe in Sao Paulo. In fact, Sao Paulo, from Sao Paulo, they'd be able to reach Polish cities if he does start talking down to us next. So let's go ahead and rebase these to Sao Paulo. There we go. And uh, unfortunately, it's just the two for now. But we can change that as time goes on. We're still funneling units and that actually brings us to over here because I'd like to start bringing some of the artillery back we can upgrade the artillery I don't think we have the money for all of them no we're just shy by like nine gold if my off the top of my head math correct so now it's just a question of divvying up the shooters we got um, I'll say let's go ahead and use him to shoot down this guy now this guy can take the city once we reach that point. Um, he's within borders, so we could use him to upgrade. Um, these guys are actually weaker than the planes, and they are uh, poised to attack cities. So let's do that, and then he can go ahead and set up and do that. No, that's weak. Uh, let's see what one plane will do to that guy. Bomber. Okay, so shooting him with this makes sense. All right, we'll do that then. Um, let's see here. That means bomber attack that guy. And then one more should be able to kill it. All right, and then we'll just rebase this the last one to Buffalo, since we're going to have to do that at some point anyways, just so it can reach Onondaga. Okay. Um, there's actually still one in this city. I failed to account for that. Um, can we attack cities? We can't... Nah. Well, shucks. If I had realized that, I could have, like, backed this guy up or upgraded one of those. Alright. And this city is unfortunately down to zero health, so we get nothing for doing that. And, uh, if I had known that, we could have used the plane to attack this guy, and then... Alright, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and take Grand River. Oh, yeah, once we take Grand River, we might see more units. Okay, I was getting all solemn for no reason. Create puppet. 
This is what we get. Very nice. Lots of buildings. Lots and lots and lots of buildings. I like it. And unfortunately, we don't see any more new units. Well, we do say Lake Simcoe, though, so let's let's go. Just for the heck of it. Just so we can continue getting XP. And, who knows, maybe he'll react like, Oh, gosh, Lake Simcoe's next, and then we just take Amanandaga. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and move this guy here. Uh, civilians, we got a choke point because we have to put the road here. It turns out there is a road here. He's just converting rail, so maybe the best thing for the great general is to hop in the water. He can uh, surface anywhere over here for four movement points. And, of course, the uh, other infantry. <sighs> so the question is, do we move this infantry down here, like we're heading towards down here, or do we start sending him back? I don't actually know. Let's just do this for now, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue rail. Probably should get one worker on top of... Did I do this already? I did not. And uh, there was another one that I tried to do, but it didn't finish either. So I'm guessing when we pass turn, we'll get those harvested up. Uh, but before I do, I just want to double check. All right, one turn to go. We did purchase the Great Engineer, and we did check in with that. So let's hit next turn and get a couple of archaeology prompts. We're just going to take the artifact because these are not in our borders. So create ink and artifact there. And over here, it's create Brazilian artifact. And then we'll go into our culture here and see what's up. Because um, we do have a broadcast tower and an airport in the capital, so we're probably going to want to stack them in there as much as possible. Um, these are all artifacts, so we don't even have to look at this theming bonus, but I do want to look at this one. Um, same era, and either... First of all, they're both going to be artifacts anyways, but same era and either both from the City Civ or uh, not City Civ. So let's get the China one out of there and hope that these two are the same. Medieval, Ancient. But I think we will get partial credit because they're both Artifact and they're both not China. Yeah, there's partial credit. Okay. And that's good because we are starting to get, to get some multipliers on our tourism. And uh, yeah, everything's piled into the capital that can be and then Yep. All right. So now it is officially next turn. Oh wait, no. We've got dies. Why do we got dies? Because we took Grand River. Yes, that's the reason. Okay. Happiness is still doing phenomenal, so that's good. And he's probably more friendly to us than Dang Poland. It's... So let's try him first. Let's see, thirty-nine. That's just a little over one. So let's try six down here. Nice. I kid. Okay, so he's our last true friend, if you can call him that. So I'm actually afraid to hit next turn, but let's find out. Oh, and you know what? I can turn off Mobile Sam because I'm never going to need to track them. Oh, there it is. <sighs> okay. Yep, dominoes. And that is a backstab, of course. Um, but again, not sure how much that's going to matter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. are you serious? I only denounced Aztecs to, like, be kind to you, and now the Aztecs hate me for no reason. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that's a backstab as well. But again, it's not going to matter because um, they're going to look at us as more of a monster than anybody that would backstab us. So, uh, Luckily, we do have a fine military. And we are doing, we are very well spread out as far as like uh, being in an effective configuration. I'm not seeing any units between here and Onondaga yet. Um, Manhattan Project is finished. And the world knows it. <laughs> That's fun. That is fun. And just to double check, the guy who's responsible for our uranium won't have it online until next turn. All right, the international games are officially 33% complete, and we have chipped in over a thousand, so that's good, 1,100. Um, but we are about to do. Um, let me go ahead and switch this to international games because we got that one turn overlap, like we talked about. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the finisher. This gives us 
uh, satellites, so now we can see everything. We also get another spy. And now, before we do anything else, we'll switch our production in the capital to Hubble. We will use the engineer to rush that. That gets us two great scientists next turn. Uh, so, yeah. Pearls from Enrico, copper to Enrico. Um, we don't need the pearls. And we had duplicate copper, so let's do whatever we can. Sam. The denouncing dominoes are coming down, so I don't expect to be able to get too much out of this. Uh, so normally this would be an okay deal. He's not going for no. it. Knock 15 off of it. No. Okay, no. so let's knock one off that. Go back to full value. Okay, there we go. Benissimo. All right, so let's take a look at our gold. We kind of want to save up for spaceship parts, but it's also we also kind of want to buy bombers if we can. Uh, there's a rifleman infiltrating our lands. That's mostly okay. The uranium is protected, and that's the most important thing. This is flat land, so we should be able to get that artifact. Um, ancient? Okay. So let's take a quick peek at that. Were either of these ancient? Medieval and ancient. Yes, indeed. So now we take the pendant out here and put the Venetian one in, and we should get full full theming bonus there. That's nice. Okay, and then we'll just put this here. Um, not because it would contribute, but it keeps it in the capital, which has the broadcast tower and the airport. Alright, Leventa wants Taoism. Valletta no longer seeks investors. Morocco has denounced Rome. Okay, so he's not going to be denouncing us. Poland has denounced you. India has denounced Rome. And us? <laughs> okay. Um, I guess that makes sense. Ish. <sighs> okay, let me take a quick drink and gather my thoughts here. <clears throat> Spy, let's deal with that first. Um, let's see here. I thought I sent a spy down here. Melbourne? Nope. Okay, so we'll do Melbourne, because that's going to be the next one to fall off. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so we need our horsemen to get in visual range. Uh, coming, We're on road that is in our border, so with machinery, we're talking one, two, three, that's one movement point, two, pillage, and then we should be able to back off after all of our planes have played hacky sack with Onondaga, is how I see this going. So let's just double check, we move in here, we can actually see Onondaga from here, that's good to know, because that means we can come here, uh, pillage, because he does need to heal, and then we'll back off. It's on a hill, so when we back off we should still be able to see it just fine, plus the worker's ours now, so yes indeed. So that means these two planes should be able to act upon Onondaga right now. Ooh, that's not dealing much damage. So, okay, and that's to be expected. It's on a hill, it's a capital, you know, but, I mean, the two of them together actually worked fairly well. So I could rebase the Brantford Plains into Grand River, but to avoid overextending ourselves, because let's just take a look here. From Buffalo Creek, we can reach Onondaga, but we can also reach Warsaw, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Sure enough. And two, four, six, eight. We can reach Krakow. So... Uh, having these infantry like scattered about our backfield here could be really good. We could just keep on taking cities for the hell of it. Um, that's not my intention, especially when we get bombs up. We can just start like lobbing bombs wherever. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, let me take a look at that. Tenochtitlan. If we could take a city, Onondaga, let's say. Okay, Onondaga. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Damn, it's not even in missile range. I think missiles have 12 range. Um, but once we take Rome, let's take a look at that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Oh! <sighs> let's see. Krakow. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 
12. I think I counted that out right. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 7 to Poznan, 8, 10, 12. Okay, so no, not not Dublin. And it's unfortunate because then Poznan, if we were to you know try to act on the Aztecs, we got to go past these two city states, and that's just a bit unwieldy. Uh, when we do attack Rome, maybe push into Neapolis. Does that get us close enough? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Missiles only. So, uh, yeah. I I don't think we should plan on being able to influence the Aztecs. If we do have city-state allies all over the place, if we start seeing him marching towards us somehow, we will be able to act upon that. But uh, let's see. Anyways, uh, this great general can land, so let's do that. Uh, he needs to heal, so we'll do that. This guy's close enough on the road we can do that. We could occupy the Hex here. Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Can we anticipate? Because if two did this, he's going to heal a little bit. But six more. I think that might be good enough. Especially with the horse there. Where'd the horse go? Here. Uh, yeah. I think we could. Um, the only downside here is we will get bombarded. And this is a frigate. Oh, wow. You know what? That might actually be a slight problem. How strong are those things? I know they're really good, but how do they compare to 28 ranged? Okay, and infantry's 70, so, and he's got double cover, so I'm not as worried as I was at first. Six planes, yeah, so let's go ahead and, wait, six, where, where am I getting six from? Is it really only just the five? Uh, maybe we send another plane. Can, can you, you guys rebase? Because if they can rebase up, uh, it can reach Brantford, but not Buffalo Creek, and therefore not Grand River. <sighs> well, shucks. In that case, it probably won't fall next turn if it's only five. And we're not going to be able to bring... How soon can you finish the road? If I move him here, and he finishes the road next turn, that means one, two... No, because machinery would only get... Okay, we wouldn't be able to set up and fire. All right, we're just going to have to accept that that's... All right. If I had known that, I would not have moved the infantry within range. But it's cool, because that means he can, like, step and pillage, and, you know, that's fine, too. So I'm not that worried. There we go. All those guys. And then we'll probably... I probably will just keep some infantry back around here, so that... Because now with Poland... Um, we might want to get loud with him just to, uh, he's also got some, uh, antiquity sites. We can get some artifacts without incident or make some market. I think we're past that point. I'm, pardon me for even exploring it. Okay. So, yeah, perhaps it is time for these guys to start backing up as far as they can without actually running out of mobility so that we can pay to upgrade them. That way, if Poland does get rowdy, we got something to say about it. Um, he can go all the way up to there and upgrade. This guy's kind of screwed, but that's okay. We'll move here. He's on road. He'll uh, get the benefits next turn. Um, machine gun. We got lots of planes over here. The artillery are starting to pull out. Do we leave the machine gun around here? Uh, we do got some things we could be pillaging. We got some workers here that are finished doing what they're doing, finally. That makes withdrawal a little easier, uh, which is good. We'll move him all the way to here, get started on rail conversion, and we'll actually get him started on rail conversion right away. First tile available. So yeah, maybe we just leave this machine gun here for a second. Now well, let's not do the armored thing. I want to be able to check back in with him. Um... Let's move him forward in our borders like this. He can come here. Uh, let's have these two swap places. Yeah, that makes better sense to me. Um, this guy's got options. Um, does he still have movement points? He does. Okay, so let's do that. They move three. That's interesting. So that would have been a reason to upgrade him. 
And we got this rifleman here we got to keep in mind. So let's see, how far can you reach? That's perfect. And you reach to here, yep. That's ideal. And then mounted number one, get him as far forward as possible so we can start scooping up some of these civilians. There's some civilians over here too, so we'll do we'll look into that as well. Very nice, okay. I feel well fortified in the Brazilian lands, which is good. And here's the end of this road gobbling project. Uh, this guy is heading over to the coal. We'll get there next turn and start the turn after that. Uh, this worker, I'm not sure what we would have him do. There's nothing else needing work over here. Hey, what's going on here? Of course I would notice this after I've moved all my units in the area. Alright, so what that means is this guy's got to head this way. <laughs> Luckily, once these two tangle, it's, you know, going to be over, so... It's... Would you get off that tile already? Thank you. Um, yeah, so does this guy need to push forward? Probably, just because this guy's healing, we want... I would want two infantry, especially since one's about to get bombarded. Um, yeah, you just stay there for now. You stay there for now. Rocket artillery. Sure. Bomber. Okay. I'm actually kind of feeling the need for another mounted. We're a little stretched as far as that goes. Yeah, let's do that. I'll buy a mounted here. Cavalry, is that what we're up to? Yes. 6.30, and uh, Alhambra does apply to him, so does that mean we get four promotions? I don't actually know. Oh, the Alhambra goes... F oh, that's right, it's just a flat promotion. It's not the XP. The XP gets stacked on top. So let's see, Medic. Uh, medic. Rough. But he cannot move this turn, because we are not autocracy. Okay. Uh, planes are well situated, so... Uh, if I could rebase them towards the Iroquois, I would. Otherwise, that's where that's at. Uh, rail is finished here. So let's do that. And let's do that. Okay, that is everything. Wow, okay. And we are at the half hour point. So I will go ahead and end this here. Uh, coming along nicely, uh, slight miscalculation over there, but it's not catastrophic, so um, it just means we pillage one more turn. This was unfortunate, but, you know, I just purchased that guy. He's well promoted. We got this guy here, so um, should be fine. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.